Hello and welcome to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back again today with another pick a card reading for you. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support of my channel, your support of each other in the comment section. You guys are amazing. And if you're finding yourself on this channel for the very first time, we would like to welcome you to this community. We encourage you to grab a chair and a cup of tea, a drink, some snacks, and we'll have a chat. We're all friends at my table. I do daily pick a card readings here. I do messages for soulmates and separation on Sundays. Sometimes I throw in a giveaway, um, but we would love to have you join us. So please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, um, so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. Um, I did have a giveaway that is up today, and I will be announcing the winner a little bit this afternoon by contacting them and putting a post on my community tab, so keep your eye out for that. You may have won the reading. Um, I will be contacting you in the message section where you contacted me if you are the winner. So keep your eye out today on your notifications. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on your chance if this is your time for your free reading. So today's pick a card reading, we're going to be asking the question, what does this person on your mind want? What do they want? Is it you? Their true feelings are going to be revealed today. We have three piles in front of you. We have pile number one with the beautiful yellow daisy and the amethyst. We have pile number two with the clear quartz and the zinnia. And we have pile number three with the moss agite stone and this purpley kind of daisy. Whatever pile or piles are calling out to you, know that a message may be waiting there for you from spirit. I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Again, today's message is the person on your mind, what do they want? Is it you? Their true feelings revealed. Hello, pile one. If you were attracted to the amethyst stone or the beautiful yellow flower, or maybe you were attracted to the blue deck today. Either way, this is your reading. The person on your mind, what do they want? Is it you? And, you know, we're looking at their true feelings today. Their true feelings for you. Maybe there's been some confusion. Maybe this is a crush situation. Maybe someone's been stringing you along. Maybe someone's been ghosting you. We're going to look at what does this person want? Do they want you? How do they feel about you currently in this connection? We're starting your reading out today with the beautiful magician. We are going to pull some cards and then we're going to talk about their energies. What do they want? Is it you? What do they want? Six of Wands. The world. My goodness. These are some powerful energies here. Already you have two major arcana out of the deck. Let's get some clarity cards. Clarifying the Magician. We have the Nine of Cups. Whoops. Clarifying the Six of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Clarifying the world, the king of wands. And on the back of the deck, we have the knight of pentacles. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of clarity for one of those cards. Okay, so... What does this person want from this connection? If we start at the back of the deck energy where I always like to begin, um, I can see that, you know, this connection is kind of taking a long time maybe to come together. That Knight of Pentacles is a movement card. This person could be a very practical person that you're asking about. Um, and I can see that they have an offer for you. I can see that what they want is to give you a valuable offer, you know, but he's just kind of looking at him. Even his horse is kind of looking back thinking, you know, when are we going to get spurred forward here? There is progression evident with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's a very slow energy. And it could be a little bit frustrating for your person. So we're going to see what's holding them back. So they do want to offer you a valuable offer. And I do feel like what they want out of this connection in truth and in, as a whole is closure with you is success with you they want to be able to 
communicate their feelings about the depth of how they feel and they want to communicate how much passion they have for you. Um, but we're going to break it down because there's a lot going on over here. We are over here with the magician and the nine of cups. So I feel like they want to open up the lines of communication. For some of you, this may be a situation where you guys are in no contact or this could be a situation where they've just hidden their true feelings for you for a very long time. Maybe your friends, um, whatever the situation may be, but they really want to speak their truth and they really want to almost conjure up a relationship with you with this magician card. It is the communication card for me. It is ruled by Mercury, which is the communication planet. So I know they want to speak with you and I know they want to speak their truth. And part of that truth is this beautiful nine of cups energy, with the beautiful queen Betty White herself <laughs> representing all of the abundant love that they have for you. Um, and it's like you're a wish come true. You are a dream come true when it comes to this person. Truly, they look at you like you are the ultimate. Um, and in life, I do feel like, you know, maybe they're working on themselves. Maybe they're focusing on their career right now. But they are portraying um, this image of having everything figured out in life. We have the Six of Wands, but it's followed up here by the Eight of Swords. So normally the Six of Wands is about triumph and winning and, and truly, you know, celebrating that win and celebrating making it out of a dark place. But we have the Eight of Swords clarifying it, which shows me that maybe they're kind of hiding their true feelings, wearing that mask and feeling kind of actually trapped and stuck in their current position in life or in the current position in this connection. And it shows me that they are kind of faking it to the world wearing a mask for everybody else. The truth of the matter is that they're kind of feeling stuck. Um, they're kind of feeling unsure of which direction to go. And that's why, again, I wanted this clarity card here because I wanted to know, you know, what was trapping them, what is making them feel stuck. It's like, it is fear. The chariot card, cancer energy really represented, but the, it's, a, it's about determination and willpower and it's about making a decision and charging into it. So this person is in this mode of trying, they really want success with you. They really want to, um, they want to move this connection into a new place so that they can feel triumphant. But they're in that decision-making mode on how do I charge forward. They're kind of fearful of charging forward because they feel restricted in some way. But if they took off their mask and they took a look around, they would realize they could probably just step around those swords, that their problems are farther away or their worries are farther, farther away than what they really think that they are. It's a call from spirit to go forward with drive and determination. And the chariot is a movement card. So this person may have this sudden burst of desire to come towards you as well. Ultimately, you know, they do want you in a very real way with the king of pentacles or the king of wands here. They want you in a physical way. They want, you know, they're charismatic. Perhaps they are an entrepreneur. Um, they like to travel. They want to travel with you, I feel, as well. They would love to whisk you away. They would love to take you around the world. Their true feelings for you. How do they truly feel? Hanged man. So they're feeling kind of like they're trying to conjure you up with that magician energy. Um, and there's a certain amount of surrender happening to the divine and to this process. Um, the hanged man energy is about surrendering to the universe. It is a message of, from spirit to surrender to the divine will. But it can also be, you know, a warning that we hang ourselves up in these positions. Here's this Houdini character who obviously put themselves there for a reason. Um, but they can get down when they want to. But it almost gives me the essence of like they hung themselves up there in a, a state of surrender. But now they're and they're faking it that they're okay. But now they're like, well... I'm okay, but I'm kind of stuck. I don't know how to get down now. <laughs> like it's that sense of, you know, being boastful and then getting yourself into a sticky position and not knowing how to escape it, not really having a clear vision of how to get out of it, but still maintaining that you're okay <laughs> to the very end with a smile on your face, even if you're drowning. Nine of Cups again. Yes, they want you. We have the King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So, you know, they really want to be a secure option in your life. And I do feel like they are, like I said earlier, a very steadfast type of energy. Somebody who likes to do the right thing. Somebody who likes to, um, somebody willing to put in a lot of effort to make someone happy. Um, and I feel like they don't know if they have enough right now to offer you all of that stability. They want to be, a, and they're working on themselves, I feel. 
working towards all of this stability that they, they hope that will be impressive to you, and that they hope will establish themselves as this king type energy. Um, but this five of pentacles really shows me that they're feeling a lack within themselves, that they're feeling a, a certain type of poverty. Now, the five of pentacles can represent a financial poverty. It can represent a spiritual, emotional poverty. And since we're talking about, you know, love here, we're talking about, you know, connections, I do feel like they worry they don't have enough to offer. And that could be what's slowing down this connection for them. It could be that they're really trying to amass some sort of lifestyle, um, to be impressive to you because you are the ultimate. We have the nine of cups showing up twice. When, when cards repeat themselves, it's just spirit's way of really driving the point home. And sometimes when I see the cards coming in twice, I think it's a lot of mirrored energy. I feel like you guys are both wearing masks. You guys both feel the same way. You both want, you both look at the other as this ultimate person, but you're both wearing that mask. I'm afraid to kind of risk your pride to reveal your truth. You know, that King of Pentacles is very steadfast. He's not necessarily emotional as well. So hiding those feelings from you. So does this person want you? Yes, they do. Let's take a look at their next move towards you. What is going to be their next move? Knight of Pentacles. So it's going to be slow, you guys. On um, that night, oops, that night's coming up twice. Um, it's going to be slow. They want expansion, but right now you can see that rabbit is just kind of sitting, sitting there on his laurels, kind of waiting for the, for the plan of action to just materialize in front of its face. I'm going to pause this for a moment to pick up the cards that fell. Okay, so the cards that fell, um, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the World again, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So it's going to be a little bit slower than you would like the movement in this situation with your person um, but that love offer is coming for some of you watching that love offer the ace of cups and emotional new start is coming because closure is needed here but i see some people you know it's a call from spirit to be patient you are going to reap the benefits of what you're sowing you can see this rabbit is already you know picking the fruit off the bush um, but there is an impatience you can see the little lines around his face maybe he's picking those fruits a little bit too early it's a call from spirit for you not to get too impetuous <laughs> don't get too impatient there is a certain order of things and there's a perfect plan in place right here um, and it's working itself out in its perfection the world coming up twice here is such a strong energy of closure of success so this is an assurance from spirit that this connection has a lot of good bones and there's a lot of potential here you just have to kind of be patient We have the whale spirit coming up for you guys today. And the whale spirit is all about expression of emotion. You know, somebody's hiding the depth of their emotion deep under the surface. And there's a beautiful sense of relief. And there's a beautiful breath of fresh air waiting for you when you come to that surface and expel all of these feelings you've been hiding. And that's really the, the essence of this person. They could be a water sign. Um, they don't have to be, but the whale really represents that depth of emotion that exists between this connection. And when you think about that whale coming to the surface and taking that beautiful fresh breath of air, um, there's a real expulsion um, that happens. And it's high and it's, you know, it's, it's really aggressive in some senses. And it's time to reveal yourselves. It's time to reveal your emotions here. Advice from spirit. Let's get some advice. We have joy coming. And ultimately, this person really just wants you to be really happy. Destiny. I said fate is at work here. There's a perfect plan. And it's working itself out. We have love. Unconditional love. Self-love. Oneness. Passion. Affection. And attraction. All of these things exist. Spirit wants you to focus while you're waiting because you will be waiting a little bit of time here, maybe longer than you'd like, but it's worth the wait. Um, working on your self-love is really important. Focusing on your own joy, putting yourself in a high vibration. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things are going to come to light. It's time to adapt, to change, and allow healing to come in. We have acts. Someone's in, this is a breakup, maybe a separation. So stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. It's time to release old 
feelings. It's time to release old energies. Date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, planning, setting a date. Enlightening you guys on the back of the deck. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise. Transformation is on its way to you in this connection. Trust. Advice from your guides today. Trust that the situation is calling for you to have faith because, you know, we have a lot of indicators here with the Knight of Pentacles coming up twice. We have the <laughs> Seven of Pentacles that there might be a little bit of impatience when it comes to you on your feelings. Okay, I just lost one on the floor because that's kind of my thing to do. We have calling in your soulmate. For some of you watching, this could be someone that you are deeply, deeply connected to. You're in separation from them right now. Um, but what they're, you know, spirits telling you it's safe for you to love. This person has a lot of good intentions. Um, they are, as I said before, they're steadfast. They seem practical. They would do anything to make you happy. Work through the fears. New moon in Scorpio. Your person is battling those fears right now with that Eight of Swords. Balance spirituality and practicality. And this person is very practical. And that's why they're taking so much time to come towards you. They're trying to put all their ducks in a row um, before they reveal themselves. Prosperity lies ahead in many ways. But what do you need to release first? Spirit wants you to ask yourself that question. What needs, to be ha what needs to happen? And in many cases, what you need to release is the fear. And you need to believe that the impossible is possible. Nothing is impossible when it comes to, to God, to the universe. Now, if this person could say anything to you right this moment, what are their true feelings for you? Let's look into, we'll be looking at the Cottage Oracle today. I'm sick of no contact with you. And, you know, for some of you, this may not be a no contact situation. So always take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. But for some of you, you're in no contact. You're in separation. And they're worried that this is all in their head. That could be one of the fears that are holding them back from coming towards you. With that eight of swords energy. You're consuming my thoughts. You know, we're asking the question today, what do they want and is it you? They do want you. Of course they do. They have a lot of things they want to speak with you about. I'm coming forward with an offer. They're coming. They're making some plans. We have that Ace of Pentacles, um, or sorry, that Ace of Cups coming in with that emotional new start. We have all of this movement being projected here with the Knights of Pentacles. It's just that it's just slower than what you guys want. Um... It says, I'm coming forward with an offer on the back of the deck. I can't come forward right now. I can't come forward right this second, but be patient with me because I have plans. I'm making plans. I'm just that type of person that makes plans slowly. <laughs> because they're trying to protect themselves too, I feel. Even though we never said it, we both knew how we both felt in this connection And I'm missing your touch right now. For some of you, I feel like this has never quite got off the ground. I have to keep these urges hidden from everyone in my life. I have to wear masks. I have to act like everything's great. I have to feel... Oops. I didn't realize what was between us. I didn't realize what we had together. But I do think that you're a little bit too good for me. <laughs> I worry about that. I worry about you being way too good for me. Which is why they're trying to, you know, truly build themselves up and put themselves in a good position. It will never be over. It will never, ever be over between us. I just saw I'm putting on a show for everyone, but it hasn't popped out. So we'll see what pops out. You deserve everything good. They have that beautiful sun energy. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. On the back of the deck, we have, please reach out to me. So that's a call from spirit for some of you that you guys can truly make moves in your own life. You don't have to wait around for other people. Whoops, one fell out, so we'll take that one. 
And we'll take this one. Give me a little bucket of charm here. What do we have today in the charm bowl? We have the page of swords. So if you guys are in no contact, this person could be watching your social media. They really want to come in with some truth. And we have the fool. Both of these little characters are kind of in a similar stance, but facing different directions. So I can tell that they want to leap into the unknown with you. They want to just leap out and express their feelings to you and reveal the truth but they're hesitating it's like back and forth push and pull it's like fate is nipping at their heels but they hold back a bit because they want to make sure everything's in the perfect place before they jump and that's not what the fool energy is about it's about being childlike it's about throwing yourself into situations but this person's so practical but they they can't allow themselves to do that right now we have the flat shell which is a reminder to me of the the empress um motherhood is represented by the empress just abundant wholesome loving comfortable energy um the empress is very i don't even i for lack of a better term it's like va va voom type of energy like they find you very attractive very abundant we have the whale and we had the whale spirit come out for you guys today it's about expression it's about revealing the depth of your emotion to another person we have b we have a couple of, of um, she believes she could, so she did. And we have uh, wishes do come true. And we had that nine of cups showing up twice, and it's about the ultimate wish come true. And it says wishes do come true if you believe in them. And part of that wish is like a desire for commitment, a desire for true a depth of commitment here. We have the seahorse. And someone told me in my, in my comment section the other day that seahorses mate for life, which I didn't realize. <laughs> so it's about... A connection that has been deep-seated maybe from a past life. We had the soulmate card come out for you today. Um, and the seahorse also represents going with the flow in life. Maybe not doing too much planning like your person seems to be doing. And just going with the flow. We have the infant Jesus of Prague. And we have here the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus. So, you know... There's a real sense of self-sacrifice with this person. They feel like they're sacrificing time with you in order to put all their ducks in a row. Uh, maybe there's children involved in this connection as well, or there could be a Catholic connection with these medallions um, in the bowl. Whatever resonates for you, that's your message. Um, the infant Jesus of Prague, you know, maybe there are children. Maybe that's where the Empress comes in. Maybe you have a child or they have a child now. Whatever the case may be, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, group number one. This was your reading. You know, we were asking the question, what do they want and is it you? Yes, they do want you. Um, they may be throwing out mixed signals because they're trying to put all of their ducks in a row. Um, and that may be to their detriment, but they have plans of coming forward. For some of you, I see them coming forward. It's just going to take you a little, you have to be patient with this person if it's something you want. They are watching your social media. So maybe throwing out some little breadcrumbs, some tidbits, here and there might encourage them to come forward faster. Um, if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification so you don't miss out on any videos I post. Um, if you are a subscriber and you entered my reading giveaway, um, please make sure you have hit the notification so you don't miss out when I contact you if you are the winner of today's reading. Um, otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next group, and I really hope to see you again here at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hello. And welcome to pile number two. You guys were drawn to the clear quartz or maybe to the beautiful zinnia. Um, but this is your reading. Um, we're asking the question today, you know, what does this person on your mind want? What do they want? Is it you? What are their true feelings for you revealed? Um, so that is the question we're going to start with today. What does this person on your mind want? Do they want you? We have the Queen of Arrows, the Swan, the Queen of Swords. We have Death. It says Journey. Now that's ominous, but we'll talk about it. We have the Fool, the Wanderer. And we're going to clarify the Queen of Swords there. Clarifying the, the Ten of Swords. 
instruction. Clarifying the death card, the six of cups, the beautiful six of vessels. Clarifying the fool, we have the queen of pentacles. And on the back of the deck, we have the two of bows, decision, two of wands. So, does what does this person want? Is it you, the true feelings of... For this connection revealed if we start at the back of the deck energy here we can see that your person is in decision making mode today um, they have a lot of passion for you and they're curious and they want to embark upon a new adventure i feel in this connection but they are i feel like it's someone from your past um, and i feel like it's been a long time coming for some change in this connection for some of you always take what resonates and leave what doesn't but I can see passion boiling up over the surface. Like this person's, their, their wands are on fire and they are, you know, determined to not let go. But it's probably getting pretty hot. So they're in a decision-making mode on how to change things up. What do they want? Is it you? They do want you. But they are acutely aware that something needs to change. Over here with the Queen of Arrows, the Queen of Swords, and it's being... It's being explained by the Ten of Swords. So I can tell that they, they have a desire for truth. They have a desire to reveal themselves. But it's almost a sense of self-preservation or protection when it comes to those energies. You can see she kind of looks a little bit um, weary of you getting too close. Maybe weary of their feelings getting hurt. And it's like they already have suffered a really long time of trying to come towards you or trying to make plans to come towards you that have fallen through. We have here the Ten of Arrows instruction and the Ten of Swords is normally a very kind of sad card because it represents making it, you know, basically being emotionally decimated by a situation. Your plans are falling through, nothing has worked and you're kind of done in for. You need closure, you want some reprieve from the pain, um, from the disconnect. Um, but it is an opportunity as well. You know, if you make it through a dark night, you can use the dawn of that new day to form a new plan. And this Ten of, of Arrows, this Ten of Swords, is about instruction. It's about making that new plan and putting it into practice for that change to come. But I feel like your person is maybe maybe not wearing their, their emotions on their sleeve. They're kind of acting a little bit cold right now with that Queen of Swords. Again, she is she is willing to cut people out of her life if they don't serve her. And she doesn't really give too much thought about it. Like she's very quick to make that decision because if it doesn't serve her, she knows it doesn't move her along. So this person's getting a little sick of the way things are. And they're kind of in this decision-making mode to move forward because I feel like they've been holding these feelings for you for a really long time with that Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about nostalgic love. You know, it's about um, being generous and reunions and and it's just a very beautiful loving energy it's a soulmate card for me but it's explaining the death card and the death can look like a really ominous card and look at like there's <laughs> bones and crows and moons all up in this card so it's very it's a very ominous looking card but the death is an opportunity it's a resurrection it's not about an actual physical death it's about Again, it's kind of like the Ten of Arrows. It's kind of like shifting things up. It's about transitioning and transformation to change things. Because ultimately what this person wants is to leap into an unknown with you. And they've been wanting to do that for a while. They want to offer you stability, security. They want to keep you happy, I feel, with that Queen of Stones. It's what they truly, truly want. Yeah, they want to expand things. They want to move things along. And ultimately what they want is to offer you a really stable home that you guys can be proud of together. Um, that's what they dream about. That is the ultimate dream when it comes to you. What are their true feelings and their next moves? What is their true feelings and their next moves? Say spirit. We have the four of pentacles. So they want to really preserve what they have already in their life. They really want to preserve their feelings as well and kind of the pride that they have sort of stored up. They want to preserve that with that four of pentacles. It's also that sense 
of kind of possession when it comes to this connection because it's it's lasted such a long time it's like a sense of possession like they already feel like you guys belong to each other like they underneath it all they feel like you belong to them we have the eight of swords they're feeling kind of stuck and trapped in their current situation but they've put themselves in this position and again, there's this imagery of the butterfly about to transform. We have the death card here. It's about waiting around, it's about taking off those masks so that you can truly transform this connection and truly open up your eyes to the realization that in these positions in life where you feel quote unquote stuck, you truly can take off those masks and you're not actually stuck. You've put yourself in those positions. We are never stuck in any position in life. We have freedom of choice. Um, sometimes other people can try to inhibit, inhibit that choice, but ultimately it is still our decision to move forward or to be truthful or to make that risk. We have the three, the empress. They hold you on that pedestal. Children could be a factor in this connection. You could have been children when you first met. It just shows that, you know, the true depth of their feeling is that they think that you're too good for them in some instances. What are their next moves? What is their next plan of action? Four of Swords. So they're spending some time, you know, we have the, the two of bows here in the decision making process. So they're really retreating inside to really gain some more clarity on their feelings, on what they want. I feel like they know what they want, but they're, they're retreating. I feel like they're dreaming about you. I feel like you're infiltrating their dreams. What is their next plan of action? Three of Cups. So they want to, they would maybe like to take you out and celebrate with you. This is like a friendship card. Plan of action. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Nine of Wands. So, and we have the, pay, the um, Knight of Pentacles. So if there's going to be movement in this connection, um, your person's in a decision-making point right this moment. It will be a slow progression with this Knight of Pentacles, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, it won't happen as quickly as you'd like. Again, I feel like this is someone from your friend group or someone you've been friends with in the past. Um, the Seven of Wands shows obstacles in the way, but they are getting in their own way, I feel. They're getting in their own way, but the Seven of Wands is a call to push through those obstacles, to knock those wands out of the way. But it's like... They're getting defensive about how long it's taking. They're getting a little bit, um, again, it's that sense of the Queen of Swords, kind of her expression kind of says it all. Weary, defensive, like I've been do at this for a while now. I don't know how to move forward and it's almost making me grouchy <laughs> type of energy from your person. Um, a real type of defense because they have so much passion that they want to wield. But again, hopefully this time and retreat will teach them that movement is required, that the nothing changes if nothing changes. Their feelings will never change. They'll never get the security and the abundance that they want to offer you unless they make the choice to take a risk. Like the fool, be like the child spirit and just throw yourself into situations without fear of getting hurt. Because you may get hurt, but the knowledge and the um, epiphanies that come along with it, the, you know, truly like the education that comes along with pain can be very valuable along with emotional pain. So it's time to move this because nothing changes if nothing changes. Okay, we have the, I asked for the final outcome of the situation. We have the death card. Again, that's not, it's, and we have the moon. That's not a reflection, the sun, <laughs> a reflection of this situation coming to a complete halt it's a call for change it's a call for transition revealing your feelings with the moon here so that the sun the beautiful joyful happiness can come to fruition but it has to shift it has to be a transition and action has to be made in order for that to happen i'm going to pull a animal spirit card for you even though there's lots of animals in these two decks but we're going to pull an animal spirit card we have the deer. It's interesting. We have the Son of Pentacles here. A lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of stag imagery. 
Um, and the deer is a real sense of innocence. We have the Six of Cups, the Three of Cups about friendship and, you know, coming together from the past. There's a real innocence about the deer, a very observant creature. And I feel like the deer is also a creature that when they are in peril, when they're in danger, they get away in a very graceful way. They can escape very gracefully. And I feel like that's what your person is trying to do. We have the swan here. That's a real symbol of grace and beauty as well. I feel like they're trying desperately to protect themselves because, you know, there's a certain amount of grace to them. They, they want to get out unscathed is the essence. I also feel like they could be watching you if you guys are in no contact right now. They could be watching your social media. <laughs> Acceptance. And faith so it's time to like accept how things are you know accept what position you guys are in life and make choices that move you out of those positions it's because all of this it's, I feel like it's a very long-standing no contact for some of you or with no movement in this connection and it's growing frustrating for both sides um, it's time to accept that past plans have not worked and to put your eggs in a different basket it's time to make a new plan here transition the death card came up twice we have despondence we have somebody not very happy happy with the you know the rate at w speed at which this is happening um we can see the character looking at that world not very happy because it's not coming to them we have dissipating like wasting away and that's how your person feels emotionally like they're wasting away but again it's all about choices They've, they've chosen to be sitting where they're sitting. It's time to take action, a call from spirit. Because a new start is open to you and a new start is coming. And the answers you need are coming to you when that action is taking. And we, on the back of the deck, we have expect powerful change once this happens. Expect some powerful changes. And confidence is so key here. Being confident. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in this connection. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So is somebody in this situation married? Or is that just a real ultimate wish of this person? We had that Ten of Pentacles coming up. You know, the Queen of Stones there, the Queen of Pentacles, wanting to offer you that stability, wanting to offer you something real and tangible. But loving yourself first is so important to putting yourself in a high vibration. You deserve love is on the back of the deck. Um, putting yourself in a high vibration so that when love is, when love comes into your life, you are in this amazingly high place so that you can absorb all of that love and truly recognize it when it comes in. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited messages arise, text, call, email, hovering. So for some of you, that's a good indicator that this person may reach out to you. Or, and it's also an important message for me to say that you guys can reach out to them. We have the Grim Reaper. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. We had the death card coming up twice here. So for some of you, maybe you're really leaning towards walking away because it's taking so long. I want to remind you that the death is about transition and change, that everything is a choice. You know, if you see a card like this that says, you know, no second chances, everything is over. You can change those energies if you want to through your actions, thoughts, and feelings. <clears throat> we have twin flames. Coupling, complementing each other. It's why you can't let go of this connection for some of you. We have paradise, happiness, joy, expansion. Enjoying each other. So there's a real fear for you guys that this relationship is over because such a long time is, has spanned. But there is, there is potential here. There is a deep connection here, but there it, it's a spirit is really calling in this pile for you guys to truly. It's time to transform this connection. It's time to move it out of the friend zone or out of whatever zone it's been in. What does this person want to say with no filter to you? I don't know how much longer I can do this. And there's a real sense of that here with that nine of wands. The swan imagery there of the Queen of Swords, she's very, you know, no one knows I still think about you. I'm wearing all these masks. I'm growing frustrated. It's taking so long. 
for me to gain the courage. I'm so afraid of getting rejected. And that is the real fear here for this person. But I'm fantasizing about the life I want with you. I'm fantasizing about you. And I'm dreaming of that second chance. I want that second chance because I have a lot of stuff that I want to say to you. I ache for you. I literally, literally ache for you. And I'm trying to conjure you up. Like I'm trying to look for you everywhere we go. I've picked up the phone a thousand times to reach out to you. But again, I'm afraid of that rejection. So I've stopped myself. <clears throat> I crave you. A lot of sexual energy from this person. You make me weak in the knees. I'm going to find you in every single lifetime because we have that twin flame card coming up. I sometimes just sit in the window and wonder what you're doing right at that moment. I look up at the sky and wonder, <clears throat> and wonder what you're doing in that moment. I am putting on a show for everybody. But you truly drive me insane. On the back of the deck we have, I'm grown up now. So if this is someone from your past, the Six of Cups reunion, they're saying, you know, I've done a lot of growing up. I'm not the same person you remember. Um, I'm grown up. Well, those two cards came right out. Chains coming out for you today. So the Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands here. Three of Cups really represents, you know, um, friendship and social gatherings and coming together. And the Queen of Wands represents that passion and the fire that they have towards you. So I do feel like this is someone from your past friend group. Um, and the Queen of Wands, it's important to remember that you don't want to cross her. She's very temperamental. And I do feel like maybe your person could be a fire sign. Maybe they are a little bit temperamental. Um, you see that black cat sitting in front of her throne. Like she's quick to anger. She's quick to forgive too because she's got a very uh, compassionate heart. But she is, she's got a fiery temper. She's a fire sign. She's a Leo. She's a Sagittarius. She's a, you know, she's fiery. And so this person could be very fiery. Um, and they've been holding this passion for you for a really long time since you guys were hanging out in social, the same social circle. We have the chain. Not le no letters coming out today. In fact, the last pile I don't think had a letter either. We have the chain here. Capricorn energy, feeling very kind of trapped by this connection and feeling kind of unable to release yourself from it. We have flat shell, the empress. The empress came out for you today. We have Taurus represented. We have the baby shark. So I don't know if children are a factor here or if the shark imagery is just um, resonating with you. You know, the shark is about being aggressive and going for things and not, not letting emotion get in your way, but just being aggressive, aggressive when you see that opportunity presenting itself. Lots of water energy here as well. Um, we have a little flower. We have the fish tail, so Pisces represented. We have a strawberry. It makes me think of that song, Strawberry Wine. You know, being 17 and, and kind of losing your innocence, that type of feeling. We have the Velveteen Rabbit, or the rabbit in general is just a sign for me that, you know, somebody very skittish, somebody kind of fearful of coming forward, but watching you from afar. We have the love built up in a foundation, and for me that's a sign about wanting to build a life with you. And we have that Ten of Pentacles coming up, that Queen of Pentacles. It's about stability and wanting to offer you that, ultimately. The guitar. Um, this person could be very musically inclined. We also have the starfish there as well. Not the starfish, <laughs> the seahorse. It's about going with the flow. Um, somebody said in my comment section that seahorses mate for life as well. You know, there is evidence here of twin flames, of past life connection. We have this rune here, um, Dega's rune, the rune of breakthrough, in increase in security. The light of the world shines brightly upon you. Growth is not always dramatic, but it's steady and sure. And it's a positive rune about overcoming the negativity around you. So 
that is a sign from spirit that that's very, very possible in this connection. Going with the flow, releasing all that emotion and stop being so stringent on planning, stop being so fearful of change um, and of being rejected because that's the only thing that's going to bring this connection forward. Okay, group number two, that is your reading. Um, what does this person want? Is it you? What, you know, yes, they want you. Are they letting their fears get in the way? Absolutely. Are, is it somebody, you know, do they have plans of coming forward? They do want to come forward, but they're spending a lot of time. It's going to be slow progression with this Knight of Pentacles. And it's interesting because the last pile had slow progression too. So there may be a message waiting there for you. Um, but I do see them wanting to come forward. It just may take a little bit longer than you would like for them to build up that courage inside. But it's a call from spirit as well for you to um, act and, and, you know, if you feel we have, you deserve love and love yourself for you to act upon your own impulses um, when it comes to this connection and surely build up some self love inside of you so that you can put yourself in a really high vibrational energy so that you can draw good things and positivity to you. Okay, that is your reading. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you entered for your chance to win um, my free reading because that's how we're going to, I am going to be contacting the winner this afternoon. Um, so please make sure you've hit that notification bell if you have entered. Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next group. And I just really hope you guys come back and visit me again on another day here at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, guys. Hello, group three. I hope you're doing amazing today. You guys were drawn to the moss agate stone or maybe to this beautiful daisy. But this is your reading. Um, the person on your mind, what do they want? Is it you that they want? What are their true feelings for you revealed in this connection? So... That is the question we're asking today. I'll take a moment to mention while I'm shuffling that if you have entered my free reading giveaway here on YouTube, um, make sure you hit that notification bell because that is how I'll be notifying you in the comment section if you won this afternoon. So make sure that you have hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on your free reading. Two of Cups. What do they want? Is it you? The Lovers. Hmm. Some clarifying cards for the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. Wow, you guys. <laughs> clarifying the Two of Cups. We have the Tower. Very powerful energies here. Clarifying the Lover's Cups. The Lover's Cup. The Lovers, we have Justice. And on the back of the back, we have Nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. These are powerful energies, you guys. <clears throat> Let's talk about this person. If we start at the back of the deck energy here, and we're asking the question simply, you know, what does this person want? Is it you that they want? Yes. This person wants you. They feel a connect, deep-seated connection with you. Um, they think that you are beautiful or handsome or attractive in every way. They just really want you um, with this Nine of Pentacles. It's about seeing something so valuable, seeing, something that, that, seeing someone that, that has worked really hard to get to where they are, and to get to what they have in life and being so almost starstruck by it in a sense. Um, it's like you are a wish come true to this person and it's like they feel like they're almost there. They're almost there where they, they can connect with you and be with you. This nine of cups, the clarity has come in for them about how much they want you and how much you are a dream come true when it comes to them. It's about wishes being granted with the nine of cups and this beautiful two of cups, the lover's card, all indicators of soulmate relationships, all indicators of very strong attraction and loving energy between the two of you. They do want you in a very real way. They're very attracted to you. They have a lot of love for you as well. Um, and they do sense that this is something, even the justice card, you know, is a sign of marriage for me, balance, a sign of soulmate union, um, just something that feels right. Queen of Swords. You have the tower card there that is looming up at us. And I know you guys are all staring at it. Like, when's she going to talk about that tower card? <sighs> okay, so the tower card that I wanted to get a little bit of clarity on because I like being um, sure about energies. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords again. Okay, so let's talk about the tower card. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. So the tower card is explaining this um, two of cups for me. Um, and the Two of Cups is about coming together into a relationship. It's about soulmate union, about deep affection, deep affinity for one another. Um, and then we have this Tower card explaining it. So the Tower is about 
uncontrolled chaos coming in from an outside source that you cannot control. It's about disruption. It's about things breaking down and not being able to stop that from happening. And that is like a fear, a real fear of your person and what is making them kind of hold back from this connection. They value you so much. They have put you on this pedestal in their mind so high that the idea of coming together and losing that is terrifying to them. And it's like, it has almost paralyzed them in a sense of fear. They have been wielding this passion for you. They have no intention of putting it down, but it's a burden. It is a burden and they desperately want the truth to be revealed, but they're kind of protecting their heart a little bit and they want to move this into, you know, calmer waters. But again, they're trying to protect themselves from the pain of not being accepted by you. It's something they don't feel that they could really bear at this point right now. We have this eight of pentacles, which shows them really having this mindset, this desire to do anything in their power to make you happy. I feel like they're working on themselves right now as well. They could be in school. Maybe you met this person in school. They're just a really hard worker, um, but they would do anything to make you happy. What is their plan of action? Do they have plans of coming towards you? You have the eight of wands. They want to communicate with you. And they want to communicate some of that passion that they have. Here we have the uh, Nine of Pentacles again. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh, beautiful energy. And Seven of Cups. So they're spending a lot of time in La La Land, in fantasy land. I want to mention that I just saw the tower again on the back of this deck. Real fear is holding these people back from coming towards you. Um, the Seven of Cups shows them fantasy you know, having these fantasies about you and fantasizing about what they want to do with you. And again, the nine of pentacles came up again. They want to come in and, and reveal that passion that they have for you. And there's a real urgency to this card as well. It comes in fast. It comes in quickly. Um, but they really feel like you're too good for them. They want to offer you like their ultimate dream come true would be to have a loving home and to transform this connection out of the brambles and into a, like, it's like these forget-me-nots under here. Like, take it out of the forget-me-nots and bring it into the 3D. Um, but they have such a, a high opinion of you and maybe a lower opinion of themselves that they really don't feel like they can make that move towards you. King of Cups, yeah, they have a lot of deep love for you. You know, he's pretty unmatched when it comes to the amount of love. What is their plan of action? King of Wands. Oh, not only does this person have a lot of depth of love for you, they have a lot of passion. Again, with that, the King of Wands and this Ten of Wands, passion that they have had no place to put. And it's really frustrating them. But beautiful. That's what I was looking for. They want to offer you stability. That Page of Pentacles is a sign of a valuable offer coming forward. And the Eight of Wands as well is a communication card, a sign of movement. So for some of you guys, you guys might receive an unexpected email or letter from this person if you're not in contact with them, because here they are, you know, it's this sense of, of a little kid showing off what they've got. And it may not even be a lot, but again, they're working on themselves. They're working on putting together some nice, valuable stability for you, because that's what they want to offer you is stability. Um, but they've got this little offer for you. And even though they feel like you're worth way more than what they have to offer, they're still going to come forward and shoot their shot. Um, because they really feel like you are a dream come true. And because they really feel the connection here with the, the lovers and the two of cups, they've gained a lot of clarity with how they feel about you. And they want to move this connection into a calmer place and into a truthful, honest place. So they're going to come forward suddenly and reveal some of that to you. And they're putting a lot of their hopes into that moment. <laughs> I want you to understand the, you know, especially with that tower energy looming over them, there's a real fear of them kind of coming forward, revealing themselves, and then losing it all in their minds. So when they come forward with this offer, that's going to take, that's taking a lot of courage. That's taking a lot of, you know, 
that's a huge leap of faith they're taking for you in this connection. So it's up to you and how you, you respond to that. I'm going to get you guys an animal spirit card today. The owl. So this person is working on themselves, gaining some wisdom about this connection. We have the scorpion, lots of sexual energy on the back of the deck there. And I really feel like it is the passion that this person wields for you. Sorry for shaking, guys, for the wobble. I feel like it is the passion that this person feels for you that's really going to spur them into action. And it's, again, with the Ace of Swords and this Owl, they've gained a lot of clarity when it comes to this connection. And it's important for me to mention that with this Eight of Wands and the Owl, I said it's going to come in swiftly. The Owl comes in unexpectedly as well, and it's silent when it flies. So this person is going to come forward with this little offer for you, this, some news at least, some communication, you know, out of the blue. You're not going to see it coming. It's going to be when you least suspect it. some advice from spirit insecurities are really playing in gratitude so we have insecurities here your person is very insecure but being able to shift your focus to gratitude can really put yourself into a high vibrational energy and your insecurities will kind of fall to the back burner you won't feel them as much capricorn energy is represented by that devil imagery growth time for change time for growth and again, as I said, with this person coming forward, it's going to show a lot of um, growth, emotional growth on their part to gain that courage to come, to come swiftly in with that news for you. A win-win outcome is forecast for you. Beautiful, beautiful. But don't let pride get in your way. You know, when this, this offer comes in, they're putting their heart on their sleeve. Don't let pride get in your way. Don't play it cool. You know, it's time for honesty. It's time for movement. It's time for change. What's happened in the past has fallen away. It has, it, those, those plans of action don't work anymore. Balance spirituality and practicality. And I feel like this person could be a very practical energy with that eight of pentacles. Conclusions are within reach in this connection because a new start is coming. This is a very positive pile today. This person really feels it for you. Flirt. So this card often comes up for me when um, it's been a friendship in the past where there's been a lot of flirtation and no real action. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, to trust in divine timing. There is a perfect plan. It's working itself out in its perfection. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And on the back of the deck, we do have the soulmate card. You know, lots of indicators of soulmates in this pile. We had the beautiful two of cups, the lovers, the judgment card here or justice card here, which really shows, you know, perhaps a future um, marriage or commitment in the works. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We have mirror mirroring each other. Do you guys feel very insecure? Are you guys feeling like you can't reach out for fear of rejection? Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, watching you from the outside. That owl spirit is very observant. They come in silently because they've been watching for a while and they see the perfect opportunity. So this person could definitely be watching your social media. Excuse me, I like you. <laughs> Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting. And we had the flirt card, so... There's been a lot of back and forth flirting in this connection. It's time to get out of the flirtation zone and to put your money where your mouth is. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. That's really what stopped this person from coming forward. So when they do come forward with that little offer and it feels like they're going to just be, look at them. It's like shooting their shot. Like, look what I've got. I don't have much, but want it? <laughs> sort of energy. Back to the deck, we have healthy choices. Make healthy choices in love and in life self-love all right if this person could say anything to you what would they say right this moment if they had no filter if they could if they could be honest with you 100 percent, they'd say i can't come forward right this moment i'm working on myself but i'm going to come in when you least suspect it so be ready but i knew the first moment i saw you that there was something going on between us like their heart beats so fast 
says I'm coming forward with an offer. And it says I can't come forward right now, but I am coming forward. And you, you know, be ready because again, it's coming in. I am forever yours. Whoops. I miss you regardless of how things are looking on the outside. And, but I also worry that this is all in my head, that I feel this connection and you don't feel this connection. But on the back of the deck, you know, we have, you are my soulmate. <laughs> you are my soulmate. And I am coming. I'm coming. They're saying that. Be patient because I'm coming. I'm watching for that perfect time. Watching for the perfect opportunity. I'm saying, get out of my head. All I do is think about you. And I know that we need to talk. We need to clear the air. I am working on myself right now. And I'm trying to fix everything. And I've had plans on fixing everything when it comes to us. I need to feel your touch. It would make them feel so much more confident if they could, if they could just reach out and touch you. I'm in love with you and nobody knows it. On the back of the deck, we have, you should have been my only choice in the past. Dig to the bottom here. Page of Cups. And as I said, that offer is coming in out of the blue, you guys. Ace of Cups. So an emotional new offer is on its way to you out of the blue. Um, that owl spirit's really shining out at me, telling me it's going to come in silently when you least suspect it. So put yourself an emotional high point um, and keep yourself in a high vibrational energy so that when this offer comes, you are ready and waiting and willing to accept it if that's what you choose to do. We have the shoe, which shows movement. We have you versus you, because truly you are your own worst enemy. <laughs> and this person, you know, they, they are their own worst enemy when it comes to coming together. Um, if they spoke words of encouragement to themselves, they would have come forward a long time ago, but they're kind of, you know, waiting around. We have the clock. Maybe a lot of time has passed where there should have been movement in this connection. It's also an indicator of divine timing at work. We have a bunch of bananas, which could be a significant charm for you we have the fishtail so pisces energy um, the microphone wanting to get your attention or somebody could be a singer we have the cross so maybe somebody is a christian um, in this connection or religion is a factor here we have the star and the star is, is a beautiful symbol from spirit of love and hope and faith and to truly kind of surrender yourself to divine timing surrender yourself to fate we have here a nickel. It has a beaver on it. This person's a very hard worker, I feel. Um, 2015 is the date on this nickel. So the 5th of the month or May could be significant to you as well. Okay, group number three. Today we are asking the question, you know, what do they want? Is it you? <laughs> um, how, what are their true feelings revealed for you in this connection? Surely they do want you. And, you know, just you being here on this channel or on this video, I feel like you kind of already knew the answer to your question that they do want you, but you knew, you know, maybe you're unsure of why it's taking them so long to come forward. What are their truest feelings? Maybe they're not revealing themselves. Um, the truth of their connection is that they, they believe that this is a very deep-seated connection. They understand that you are their soulmate. Um, and they have plans of coming in when they can kind of quench some of those fears Inside of them, this tower is looming over them. They're worried that they're going to ruin everything by coming in and revealing themselves. And by everything, I mean their own self-esteem. <laughs> so that is your reading. Please leave me a comment in the comment section if this, if this resonated with your situation. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications so you don't miss out on anything that I post. I post every single day. Um, otherwise, I just really hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Thank you for joining me. Bye.